Okay, class, so we're going to get into the anatomy, the structure, and the physiology, how it works, or what I like to call the electrical portion of the heart. Now, if you're studying the heart and you saw the blood flow video, the heart's main function is to get oxygen to the body. Remember, oxygen is the money to the body. Without oxygen, you go broke, you die. Okay, so the heart's pretty important, obviously. Now, the anatomy portion is very different than the electrical portion. If you guys come over here, and if you saw my um, blood flow through the heart video, you would know that there is a right atrium, also a left atrium, a right ventricle, and a left ventricle. And I break this down in an awesome song I like to call Hotel Cardiac. It's a spin-off of Hotel California. And I walk you guys through the blood flow of every single uh, portion of the heart. Now, for the structure, I need you guys to think of the heart as being like a four-bedroom suite. Now, with this four-bedroom suite, there's four rooms. There's attics. You guys remember atrium as an attic because they're smaller. And then you have the suites or the basements, the ventricles. They're bigger because they're stretching to pump blood to the lungs or pump blood to the body. Big mama left ventricle pumps all that O2 to the body. Very important. Without that O2 that this big mama pumps, the body doesn't work. So, atriums, they're small attics. The Latin word for atrium just means small corridor, or fancy words for small room. Now, each of the four bedrooms inside the heart of the four bedroom suite, all of them have doors, and this is what we call valves. Now, if you guys heard the Hotel Cardiac, I go through that song and talk about all the valves, but I want you guys to remember that the sounds you hear inside the heart are those valves closing. So that lub and dub, those are shutting doors inside the heart. So whether it's your tricuspid valve or your bicuspid valve, and an easy way to remember that is looking at me and making your cardiac gang sign. Now it's not a loser, it is a gun. You go right here across your chest. Your bi, which stands for two, is on the left side like bicycle. Your tri, which stands for three, is on the right side, like tricycle, three wheels, okay? So that's your cardiac gang sign, don't forget it. Make sure to use your right hand, don't use your left hand and be like all messed up. Right hand, across the chest, bi and tri. So your tricuspid valve right here and your bicuspid valve right here, they are the main ones um, that separate the atriums from the ventricles. Next is your pulmonic artery, or I'm sorry, pulmonic valve, and your aortic valve here. So the biggest thing to remember here is that the sounds we hear are the doors closing. Now, how do those doors even function? Do they just function on their own? Do they have a mind of their own? Well, no, they actually conduct electricity. That's right, they have responsibility to conduct electricity. You actually have electricity going into your heart right now. And why doesn't the rest of the body get electrocuted? It's because your heart has a little Ziploc bag called the pericardium that protects your body. So let's talk about this electrical stuff here. I wanna think of your heart as like the doors to Walmart. Now when the valves open and close, it's done by electrical because they're electrical doors, right? We walk up and the doors open. You have a little Walmart reader there. So electrical doors. Well, these electrical doors are run by batteries. There are three batteries of the heart. Please write these down in your notes. Your first battery, your SA node, this is what beats from 60 to 100. This is what's called sinus rhythm. Basically, 
Hey guys, Mike Linares here, and I'm really hoping that you're enjoying our free videos on YouTube. Now, if you didn't know, we have over 900 videos total, but only 300 of them are on YouTube. Now, if you're enjoying this video, and maybe you're new to nursing school, and you're new to our videos, I want to let you know about three things. We help you to cut study time, double your productivity, and make sure that you have higher test scores. And we do all this by condensing the materials inside your books so that it's not the night before the test and you're trying to put all this information into your brain. So guys, we encourage you to join simplenursing.com to enjoy all 900 videos. And please, please, don't join when it's too late. And I see this all the time and it really, really breaks my heart when students try to join and try to make up time in nursing school when we know that if you fail one test in nursing school, it brings your grade down dramatically. So guys, if you really want to cut your study time, if you really want to double your productivity, if you really want an easier nursing program with higher test scores, we encourage you to join simplenursing.com and get access to all of our videos. So guys, call today and find out how we've helped over 40,000 nursing students and growing. Honestly, this is going to be probably the best decision you've made in nursing school because you do not want to be at the end of your semester dragging on and holding on, hoping that you're going to pass, and then spending all the extra tuition money trying to get back in. So guys, if you are interested in passing, call today. We have an entire support staff that will help you, student success guides that will help you achieve your next academic goals. So let's continue with this video, but please, please call today.